guys, welcome back to this week's edition of New Makeup Sunday, and thank you so much to all of you who hang out with me every single Sunday. I appreciate it so much. And to those of you who are new, this is basically a vlog style video that I do every weekend where I open up PR packages and things that I purchase throughout the week, and I just do some first impressions and swatches and stuff like that. And then at the end of the video, I let you know my thoughts on some of the things that I got to test out more throughout the week. So don't forget to stay tuned to the end so you can see what I thought of a few of these products. I didn't get to try as much as I wanted to this week just because everything was really crazy plus most of it came in just yesterday so I didn't get a chance to try any of that stuff yet but anyway we have a long video this week so I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking now let's go ahead and jump right in and I'll meet you back here at the end hey guys it's Tuesday afternoon I just got back from Sephora and I ended up buying this easy eye palette from Charlotte Tilbury I saw it in store and it looked so cute and it has the most beautiful shades in it so I don't actually own any Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows so Here's what this looks like. So you have your day eye on one side and then date eye on the other, but I would obviously just mix and match. I don't think I would really stick to that. But here's just a closer look at the colors. I was just swatching it for Instagram. So I'll go ahead and swatch it again for you guys really quick, just so you can see what the formula is like. I was really excited to try some of her eyeshadows. I know like a lot of people say that her palettes aren't that pigmented, but um, I didn't find that with this one at all. I felt like the shades were really pigmented. I don't know if they're just talking about those little quads that she has, but I mean, they're super intense. And also an extremely smooth formula, especially the matte shades. I feel like these are, they glide right on like velvet. Um, here's the other three. And even when you're like dipping into the pan, they just feel so incredibly smooth. So here's the other shimmer. I just think this is so pretty and just really easy to wear. It's like a really nice size for travel too. And you really have like all the shades you would need for a neutral eye. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this palette really quick. I just thought it was beautiful. I could not resist picking it up. I also stepped into Ulta and I wasn't going to buy this. I was trying to hold out, but when I saw it in person, I just thought it looked so beautiful. It's the You're a Cutie palette from ColourPop. So the shades in here, they just call to me. I love these softer tones, the purples, and this blue is so beautiful. I was swatching it in store and I was just so excited about it that I ended up making a purchase. So um, I will go ahead and do some swatches for you guys so you can see what all the colors look like laid out. All right, so here's the palette swatched out and that blue shade is so gorgeous. It has a pink shift to it, so it's not as blue as it looks in the pan. I was really surprised by that one, but I love it even more with that shift. I just think this whole palette is gorgeous, and that's the reason why I ended up buying it, because when I swatched it in store, I just felt like the colors came alive a little bit more than they did just looking at it in the pan, so that's kind of what pushed me over the edge to buy it, but I just think it's so pretty. But yeah, it was colors like this pinky lavender right here, even this one is beautiful um, the super shock that's in here is like a really pretty pink even this bright pink with the glitter it's like one of those mattes with the glitter I think it's gonna be really pretty paired with some of these purples so anyway just wanted to show you guys this one really quickly Good morning guys, it's Wednesday. I just got a package from Believe Beauty for Valentine's Day and it says we're celebrating with BOGO 50% off all Believe Beauty lip and nail products between $2.9 and $2.15 at Dollar General. So if you're not familiar with Believe Beauty, everything in the line is $5 or less and the products are really, really good. So they sent over one of their lipsticks. This one's called Cherry on Top. It's the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. So I'll just quickly show you what this looks like. So these have kind of like a moussey texture and they're very pigmented in one swipe. As you can see, you really don't have to build them up. They're not streaky at all. I'm not like the biggest fan of matte liquid lipsticks just because they tend to be a little bit more on the dry side, but these are a really good affordable option if you do like them. And also they sent over two of their gel effect nail polishes. These are actually really good nail polishes too. They coat your nails pretty well in one coat and by the second coat it's totally opaque, which is great. And they're actually pretty chip resistant too. So they sent over the shades Duchess, which is this really deep, like kind of vampy red. And then this one, it's a French name. It says Rouge. I'm not going to butcher that second word, but at least you know what this color is. It's a really pretty bright red. So anyway, that is the little package from Believe Beauty. Just wanted to let you know about the sale really quick. Next, I also got a package from Physicians Formula and they sent over their new butter collection with Whaley. 
so this collection I was so excited for because I love the shades that Whaley picks when she does collabs. Actually, I just wanted to show you this really quickly. I have her e.l.f. collab, the I Like Whaley face palette, and I've kept it all these years. I want to say it's like four years old or something because I just loved the shades that she chose in here. The bronzer was perfect. There was a really pretty highlight, and then these peachy blushes were gorgeous. They were some of my favorites. So I've been holding on to this. I'm so sad that e.l.f. discontinued it because I like this one even better than their regular blush palettes that they have. I just think the colors are perfect. So when I heard she was coming out with the Physicians Formula one, I was also really excited. So let me just quickly show you some info. Um, these are available exclusively at Target. So that's the only place you can get them in the US and Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada or on the Physicians Formula website. So you get two bronzers, two blushes, and then two highlighters. So let's go ahead and check it out. Yeah, so as you can see, the colors she chose are really, really gorgeous. Look at this highlight. It has kind of a marbled effect in it. And if you're not familiar with their highlighters, these are more of a cream formula while these are powder. So let's go ahead and swatch everything. I can't wait to see what these colors are. All right, so let's swatch the butter highlighters first. So this one is in Whimsical. This is the one that has the marbled effect. So it's kind of like a gold and a pink mixed together. It's stunning. And then this one's called Golden Hour which is more of a peachy gold, and that one is really beautiful too. I feel like either one of these could work with my skin tone. And then for the blushes, we have Apricot and Wildflower, and I love their butter blushes so much. Even the highlighters too, I feel like they're just so smooth, and the bronzers are awesome. All the butter stuff is really great. And also I just want to mention that these highlights and blushes are limited editions, but the two bronzers are part of the permanent collection. And then for the bronzers, we have Deep Bronzer, and then Sunset Bronzer. So Sunset Bronzer is a little bit more cool toned while the um, Deep Bronzer is a little bit more golden. So anyway, there's the entire palette swatched out. I love it. The only shade I probably won't wear on my face is the Deep Bronzer just because it's a little bit too warm for me, but everything else is absolutely perfect. So I'm very excited to test this out. If you'd like to see a video just showing this actually on my face, let me know down in the comments below. Hey guys, it's Saturday. I just got a whole bunch of packages in all at once, so I was actually thinking I was done with this video and I was going to start editing, but here we are filming some more stuff, but I wanted to include it because these are new products you guys might be interested in. So first up is the new Zoeva Authentic Skin Perfector Retouch Concealer. I am so excited about this. I saw it on Trend Mood's Instagram, and if you guys have been following me for even just the past couple of months, you know that the Zoeva Authentic Skin Foundation was my favorite favorite foundation of 2019. It's amazing. I use it almost every single day. So the fact that they just made a concealer is like, I'm, I'm over the moon excited. So it says that it's a medium buildable coverage elixir for tired, uneven skin that will leave your complexion feeling positively beautiful while still authentically you. It has rosehip oil to nourish and hydrate, luxuriously creamy, soft texture, conceals imperfections, and blurs the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, leaving a naturally radiant finish. It's also perfect for highlighting and contouring. They have a ton of of shades right here so you could probably get some deeper shades than your normal skin tone to contour with as well. It says it's launching on February 10th at ZoevaCosmetics.com and at Zoeva retailers. So hoping it comes to Ulta because that's really the only place to get Zoeva right now in the US. And it also comes with this really cool looking brush as well which is called the 146 Concealer Perfector for a seamless streak free application. And it looks like they also sent over these. This is called the Visionary Light Multi-Use Face Powder. And it says it's designed to radiate and empower your every mood. Um, it has next generation pearl pigments that capture light and deliver pure color performance in an innovative powder to cream highlighter formula. So this is going to be launching February 24th at ZoevaCosmetics.com, Zoeva Retailers, and they are $26 US. So let's go ahead and open all this up. I'm so excited. All right, so here's the three highlighters. I really want to test out the concealer first. So it looks like they sent me three different shades, so I'll be able to swatch these for you guys and hopefully you can get a good idea of what your shade would be. We have 20, accurate, 30, which is actual, and then 90, which is dependable. And I suppose if this one is too dark for me, I could always use it as a contour as well. All right, so let's go ahead and do some swatches. Here's what the packaging looks like. This one is the shade 20, accurate. 
I can't wait to see what the formula is like. Like I said, the foundation is one of the most natural foundations I've ever worn. It just looks so skin-like. It doesn't cling to dry patches. It blends like a dream. This feels incredibly similar, actually, so that's a good thing. It's blending in very, very seamlessly. Maybe I should have waited to blend that in so you guys could see all the colors side by side. Hold on a minute. I just really was curious about the formula. I'll go ahead and swatch them side by side next so you can see them just together. But let me just go ahead and blend this one in. I'm loving how these feel. I mean, I know you can't always tell just putting them on your hands, but given how much I love the foundation, I'm thinking I'm really going to love these too. And here's shade number 90. Yeah, this is going to be definitely too dark for me to conceal with but I may be able to contour with this one. It's actually more of a peachy tone. Maybe I can color correct with it some of the dark areas because it actually looks similar to the Pixie color corrector that I use, the peach one. So maybe I could use it for that. I'll have to see. All right, so I just put a ton of concealer on my hand, but as you can see, it just looks glowy and healthy and like skin. I don't see any like concealer clinging to any dry patches or anything like that. And my hands are always super dry, so I'm very excited about this one. All right, and then as promised, I just wanted to show you what these look like side by side. We have 20, 30, and then 90. And then also, here's a look at the brush. It's the 146 Concealer Perfector, and it's a really interesting shape. So on the package, it says it's a beautifully curved brush that fits perfectly within the contour of the eye for seamless, streak-free application. The innovative angled head featured with dense, luxurious synthetic fibers mimics the motion of fingertip application. That is really, really cool. So I can totally see that. It's just like going back and forth with your finger. Like, it just is that perfect shape so I can't wait to try this out with the concealers so I will keep you guys updated on these for sure. All right, so next let's look at the face powders and this packaging is really beautiful but as you can see I just touched it and I had a little concealer on my hand so it's definitely going to be prone to fingerprints. Let's go ahead and check this out. Ooh, look how pretty that is. That actually looks beautiful. I wonder if I could use this as a blush. Definitely going to have to do swatches of these. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at this yellow. That looks like it's going to be bright, actually. I don't know how sheer these are or anything. Um, and then, ooh, look at that one, too. It's like a rose gold or like a bronze. So pretty. All right, let's see what these look like. So let's try this one first. I kind of don't want to ruin the pattern because it's so pretty. <gasps> look at how shiny these are. Holy cow. All right, let's do a little swatch. Oh my goodness. They almost feel like a baked formula. They feel really nice. Um, look at that yellow. What? I wonder if you can use these on the eyes too, because these are so beautiful. I'm not a highlighter person. I know I always say that, but like, I love swatching them because they're so pretty. <laughs> and look at that. I wish I could wear highlighter. I just feel like I have too much texture on my cheeks now. That might be a beautiful blush if you like glowy blush, just because these don't appear to be overly glittery, particularly this pink one. I think this one probably has the most glitter to it, and it's not even glitter. It's more of just like a metallic finish. Um, the yellow one is kind of in between, and then the pink one is a little bit more subtle, so I feel like you could definitely get away with using that as just a glowy blush. Um, that one is called, I didn't even say the names, this one's Supreme. Sorry, I keep shaking the camera. Um, this one's called Unbelievable, the yellow, and then this one is Surreal, the bronze one. So anyway, guys, definitely let me know what you think of these down in the comments below. Are you planning to try any of these out? I'd love to hear your thoughts. I also got my Ulta order, and I had grabbed this new LA Girl Pro Mastery eyeshadow palette. I got so many tags on Instagram about this, as well as you guys here on YouTube in the comments asking if I was going to buy it. I had no idea these even had launched yet. Um, there was this one and then another one. I'll put a picture of the other one here up on the screen so you can see what that looks like. I just got this one because I'm really trying to like rein in my purchases a little bit, and even though I love the formula of these, I did like the colors of this one a little bit more than the other one, so I figured I would just buy this one but as you can see the colors are gorgeous if you love like softer neutrals and some of these berry tones down here too I think this is going to be really pretty and I loved like some of the cooler tones too I like this cooler toned kind of dusty mauve shade and some of these cooler topes but um, let's go ahead and just swatch a couple of the shades definitely want to do some shimmers and some mattes the formula feels just like their other ones which is fantastic because as you'll see like holy pigmentation. 
I think these are some of the best palettes at the drugstore, seriously. Let's just do a few more. Yeah, I was kind of surprised to see them pop up at Ulta and not at CVS. And I was just there the other day too, but I didn't see these. So, so yeah, it's just swatching beautifully with the shimmer. So now I'll go ahead and just swatch a couple of the mattes. The mattes are very pigmented, super smooth and blendable. Just really nice. We'll just do a couple more. Kind of running out of room. As it is, I'm kind of almost swatching the whole palette anyway, but I just can't help myself because I think these colors are so gorgeous. So anyway, just wanted to let you know about this palette really quick. It's available on the Ulta website. I don't know that it's in stores yet, um, but mine came pretty quickly. So, so I would love to hear from you guys. Have you purchased this one yet or are you planning to? I had also ordered some of these new blush palettes from BH Cosmetics. I thought these looked so adorable when I saw them on Trend Mood's Instagram, and there were so many colors, I really had to rein myself in and not buy them all, but I just tried to stick with ones that looked like they'd be good for lighter skin tones. So the first one is Chocolate Orange, and this one looked like just more kind of peachy colors, and I just thought this was so stunning. It looks like there's three matte shades, and this one looks like it might have a hint of shimmer, but it doesn't look overly shimmery. It almost looks like maybe a satin, so we'll have to see. I'm definitely going to swatch these for you guys. And then I got Vanilla Cream Truffle, and this one looked like it was going to be a little bit more cooler toned pinks. Yeah, so that is gorgeous as well. You have some cooler tones, but also like this one's kind of more of a warm tone pink, which is really beautiful. And then you have this cooler one down here. So let's go ahead and get into some swatches. All right, so first let's swatch Chocolate Orange Truffle. These seem like they have quite a bit of powder kick up. I don't know if you can see that in the pan, but they feel soft. So... Yeah, they definitely feel very silky and blendable, but there's a lot of powder kick up. It doesn't necessarily matter as much when it comes to blushes because I'm just putting a brush into the pan anyway, and if a little bit of powder kicks up, it's not really a big deal. I usually mind that a little bit more when I'm applying eyeshadow, but these feel really soft and seem like they're gonna be easy to blend. All right, and next we have Vanilla Cream Truffle. These also seem to be kind of a little bit more on the sheer side, so I like that because you can build them up to your desired intensity if you don't want like a really strong blush, which I normally don't most of the time. Um, I think these are going to be really great for that. Usually I'm not looking for something to be overly pigmented if it's a blush because then it's a little bit harder to work with and I feel like I have to use it sparingly. So I much prefer a sheer formula like this that I can just add another layer if I want to. So anyway, those are the two that I got. I'd love to hear from you guys down below if you purchased any of these or if you're planning to. Next up, I got a package from Colleen Rothschild. I was so excited to see this come because I've seen it on Instagram and I was hoping they were gonna send it over because I love the smell of Minoy. So this is a Tahitian Minoy body collection. And um, if you remember a couple of months back or maybe it was last year, they released their first body collection. And that one had a vanilla scent and I loved all the products and I just love her face products in general so I'm super excited to see her expanding the body line. So this one has a Tahitian Minoy scent and if you're not familiar with Minoy, it's basically where they soak gardenia petals in coconut oil. So it's sort of like a coconut gardenia scent. It's really beautiful. I actually used to use the Minoy hair care line from Carol's Daughter and I love the scent of it so much so I can't wait to see how this one compares. You have a creamy oil body wash, a body butter, and then, and it says that this is infused with kukui oil, barrage oil, jojoba, coconut, and buriti. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. So that's the body wash and then the body scrub has pink Himalayan salt and Brazilian brown sugar and then the body butter has murumuru butter and bakuri butter. So let's go ahead and try these out. I'm dying. So first let's just try a little bit of the body wash. I'm going to have to go rinse this off in a second but it's super creamy. It feels amazing. And I can actually smell it from here without even putting my nose up to it. It smells fantastic. I love the Minoy scent. I'm kind of partial to coconut scents as it is, but this just smells like a tropical paradise. It smells so good.
And if you've ever tried the Carol's Daughter Manoy line, it actually smells very similar to that. I think I even like this one slightly more. This one almost smells a little bit creamier maybe, but it's very, very close. And then next we have the body scrub. So I just want to see what this one feels like as well. This has really coarse pink Himalayan salt. So it's not one of those really finely ground scrubs. It's actually like very coarse and gritty, which is good, I think, especially on really rough areas like your feet. But at the same time, the salt melts in really quickly, like just as I'm rubbing it, it's turning into an oil that feels super hydrating on my skin, which is great. So I'll just rub this in a little bit and then go and rinse it off. All right, so looking at my hand comparison, here's where I put the scrub. It feels so much smoother and it just looks way brighter than this one. Um, so I think it did a really great job at just taking off all that dead skin. It feels so smooth. So then next up we have the body butter. I love how everything's like a pistachio color. I think it's so pretty. So let's just put this one on. It feels super creamy, but lightweight at the same time. It doesn't feel really heavy. I feel like this is gonna sink in pretty quickly, especially with my dry skin. All right, so there's my hand after using this. Like I don't have any of the dryness that I usually have like in my hands. And I literally just put hand lotion on before filming the video. I always do because I'm usually so embarrassed about the way my hands look. But even putting lotion on, they still look like this. And with this hand, I mean, it looks incredible. I think that scrub really helped to just take all that dead skin off. And I really made sure to like work it into like the section in between my fingers here. So, I mean, my hand feels like brand new right now. This is so good. And it smells like a tropical paradise, which honestly is something that I needed right now. It's been so cold here and cloudy like every single day. So it just has me dreaming of spring and summer right now. So anyway, guys, just wanted to share this with you really quick. And then last but not least, I got a PR package from MAC and I was super excited to see this come in because I haven't tried much from MAC over the years and I've just always wanted to, so super excited. This looks like it's their patent paint lip lacquers and they did send over a card with a little bit more information. It says, introducing juicy power pigmented shine like you've never seen or worn before. It's a luxuriously creamy vinyl effect gloss that provides instant moisturization, that sounds like right up my alley, that lasts all day with a color payoff that never bleeds. It's available in 15 shades. And then here's a look at all the shades right here. So let's go ahead and open it up. It says they're $22 each and they're gonna be available. Actually, they are available already. They were available towards the end of December. So let's open this up. So it looks like they sent over six out of the 15 shades plus the prep and prime lip and then three different lip pencils. So that is so cool. All right, let's open this up and do some swatches. So here's just a quick look at the packaging. I think it's really cute. And this one is the shade Magic Mirror. Ooh, these do feel really smooth. They're not sticky like a gloss. They actually have like a really nice glide to them. Then this next one is called Varnished Reputation. More of a purple, probably not a color I would wear, but it's pretty anyway. <laughs> then we have Patent Pleasure. Ooh, that's a really pretty peachy coral. These seem like they have quite a bit of pigment to them as well. Next up is Latex Love. This looks like a bright red. Ooh, super pretty. I'm excited to see if these really truly don't bleed because usually glossy formulas do and I'm always afraid to wear the darker colors like this because I'm afraid they're gonna get all over the place. So I'm excited to test that out. Let's see, this one's called Vinyl Underground. I mean, even like, especially for a purple, it's like, it's not patchy. Usually colors like that go on really streaky and patchy and that just feels so nice. And then this one's called Lacquered Up. This looks like a shade I would love. Yep, kind of a pinky mauve. Yeah, I think that one is probably my favorite of all the colors. I know, surprise, surprise, I'm so predictable. All right, and then next let's check out the Prep and Prime for lips. I'm guessing this is just a regular clear lip primer. I love the Prep and Prime spray. I use that one all the time. This feels nice and creamy. It's probably just one of those formulas that kind of fills in your lip lines and prevents things from bleeding. So I could definitely use that. And then we have lip pencils. So this one's called Vino. It's like a really pretty bright purple that'll definitely go with that shade. 
And then we have Soar. I think this is actually one of their most famous lip liners, if I'm not mistaken. I always remember hearing YouTubers talk about it and I always wanted to try it. Wow, that is so like the perfect color of lip liner and I think it's gonna pair really well with this one. And then we have Cherry. So this one looks like a red. Yep, and that looks like it'll pair beautifully with that red right there. They're like exactly the same tone. So anyway, guys, if you would like more information about these, if you want to see a review or maybe a try-on of some of these colors, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll just let you know in a future update video what I thought of them, but so far, I'm really impressed. All right, guys, so that's everything that I have. As always, I'm just going to quickly let you know my thoughts on a couple of the products that I got to try this week. As you saw, most of it came in on Saturday, so I really didn't get a chance to try those, but I did want to mention the ColourPop You Are a Cutie palette. I'm actually wearing this one on my eyes today. I think it's beautiful, but one thing I do want to mention about this palette is that some of the shades, at least the ones that I've worked with, don't look exactly on the eyes like they do in the pan. For example, this deep purple right here is the one that I put in my outer corner, and on my skin it actually looks like more of a pink than a purple. Um, also, this one right here, it looks like a navy blue in the pan. It's actually not. I know I mentioned that in my video, but I'm wearing this one across my lid, and it's a duochrome shade, so in some cases it looks blue and then other times it looks kind of pinky purple um, so I just wanted to mention that and also this blue shade right here it's not super intense like I had to really really build it up on my eye just to get it to show up it's not super metallic which some of you may really like but I just want to let you know that because if you're expecting to get like a lot of shimmer out of it it's actually a very very subtle eyeshadow but overall I do really like this palette I think the look that I made today came out really pretty so I'm enjoying playing with it and then the other thing that I got to try this week was this Physicians Formula Butter Palette. I'm obsessed with this. I've been using it every single day since I got it. I'm wearing the bronzer, which is Sunset Bronzer, um, all over, and then also the Wildflower Blush, and I just think these are so beautiful. One thing to note, though, is that it's not gonna work on a deeper skin tone, unfortunately. I can actually use every single shade in this palette, which is pretty rare, and I have a lighter skin tone, so I feel like this palette could work the best for like fair to light, maybe medium skin tones, but anything other than that, I don't think it'll work. And it's interesting because this is actually called deep bronzer, but I would not call this a deep bronzer at all. I feel like the bronzers are kind of more of a medium tone or like a light to medium tone so that's just something I wanted to mention but I am loving this palette because I can use all the shades I feel like nothing's gonna go to waste so I am really enjoying this a ton so anyway that's everything that I got a chance to try this week but let me know down in the comments below if there's anything you'd like to see more in-depth reviews on and I can definitely do that if I get enough requests so thank you guys so much for watching oh one more thing I wanted to mention is that I am still planning to do part four of my eyeshadow palette video I've been getting a ton of questions on that um, I am still planning to do it hopefully this week. It's just a really long video to shoot and things have been really crazy so I just haven't had the time. I didn't forget about you guys. I promise it'll be up hopefully this week. I'm going to try to really make it a priority. So anyway guys, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.